Good morning, everyone. Our weather, it looks cold out there for the start of the day, and we won't get too warm, but we will start to see some changes. Again, some growing pains, areas of flakes. We'll show you where those are in your hour-by-hour -hour forecast beginning right now. Do not forget to download Hutch's brand spanking new weather app. Search Hutch's Weather in the App Store today, and on that app, you're going to find a button like this, and I want you to accompany me to the beautiful country of Norway, visiting where my grandparents and great-grandparents immigrated to the United States from. I can't wait. You can learn much more about it by clicking on my Visit Norway tab on HudgesWeather.com or my brand new weather app. You can contact my friends at Brecky Travel. For more information, tell them that you want to join Hotch to Norway. Now let's get started with a look at that forecast as we go through the day. Let's start with the chance of flakes uh, pushing things into motion here. We're going to see some showers in South Dakota. But here's what we're looking at in the midday hour. A few sprinkles of mixed precipitation along the border. Things much warmer in southeast Montana. It's flat out rain in those areas. Now, any kind of precipitation falling over our frozen tundra here is going to freeze and cause some slippery nonsense. Notice it isn't particularly widespread or particularly heavy so that's the good news heading into the evening hours tonight for the most part quiet the best chance at any uh, spits of sleet or snow will be in our northern valley counties as we go into the nighttime hours tonight and overnight not quite as cold as we go through, and that's the good news with regards to that. To show you a little more on that temperature, let's look at some model guidance. And as we take a look at this, here's the cold core of air right here as we go through our day today. Putting this into motion, what we're going to see is that cold air slowly migrate its way off to the east. And as it does so, well, this model is still just coming in, but let's just say this. It's going to be cold. Let me get the other model out here, and we'll load it up too. Okay, here we go. So this cold core of air that's focused right over our area slowly migrates out as we head into the overnight hours and that's a nice warming trend as we go into the next 48 hours here's a look at your temperatures for today and what you need to know number one as we start the day we're going to head out the door with temperatures close to 10 to 15 below up here in that Rolla area out towards langdon it's cold up there and you've got a little bit more fresh snow than many of the rest of us i think we'll see some teens up in your ball the park below zero as well light and variable winds means we won't have a lot of wind chill to deal with but bundle those kids up as they're heading outside to go play 8 13 the time of sunrise and as we go into our afternoon on this friday single digits above zero here's that warm air and along this boundary we will see a few clouds there'll be a chance for a spit or a flurry along the international border mainly in northern minnesota and the northern red river valley as we go through the forecast period hey cannot wait to introduce you to this week's weather kid join me tonight tonight now we usually do these on thursday but you know it's a holiday on thursday code of Lewis joins me from Roosevelt Elementary School. Cannot wait to introduce you to this vibrant young man. Join us, drop a comment, and for now, have yourself a swell Friday. I'll be back with an update just a little later today, and we'll talk a little bit more about that extended forecast. Are we turning a corner? Hutch says yes. We'll detail that tonight. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wait, you forgot the new app. You're right! Don't forget to download our new app.